longer running, it's an electrochemical consciousness generating process. Hence, consciousness is lost. You lose consciousness. Pay attention now. At this point in time, your consciousness, all that is you, your continuum of being you, has ceased to exist in the physical world. Now, moments later, the electrochemical process may start up again, allowing consciousness to emerge out of the information stored in the brain. But I wonder, where are you in the meantime? Oh, it's too stupid. Must we not assume that at the point when consciousness is lost, the person dies? If a new consciousness appears or not in the same brain is entirely inconsequential to the dead consciousness. The new consciousness is simply a new person. Because it emerges from the same brain, it has access to all the memories and cognitive structures as a dead consciousness, so it thinks it is the same person, but in actuality, it is just an imposter inheriting the body and brain from the previous, now dead inhabitant. Yes, like talking to a child. Uh. What about the soul? Oh, soul. I knew he was stupid. Hey everybody. Uh, uh yeah. Hey everybody. <laughs> Jimmy Rackle, welcome back to uh Wolfstein the New Word. Oh. She not dead? I thought her head likes. How are you? No, you're dead. I don't understand at all how she said any of that, but... Should have just been like... That's all it should have been. Cool. Oh, you can get in and ride it? Oh. We tell them to camp. Open the garage door. Steal a vehicle and crash through the gate. Let's go. I thought it was just a robot. I didn't know it could be a manned mech. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. Where, where else am I getting shot from? Okay, right there. Change guns. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh, there's people up there in the tower. The tower like collapsed if I shoot it enough? I don't think it just breaks that much. I think that's it. <laughs> Boom. Whoa, he got splattered. He got shot in the giblets. Okay. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Not a robot. Boom. 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 Oh. Oh, jeez. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. Just one frustrating part is that when I'm moving around, it bobs around a lot, so it's hard to shoot. It's hard to accurately, accurately aim when moving. The rockets are not... They don't move straight forward, they, they swirl around a little. Dead now. Do what now? Okay. Oh, there's the map. Oh. Sip him over here. Hang on. There we go. There we go. Sorry. Can we can't bust this gate. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Fire the rockets. I'm shooting. Oh, nope. Oh, great. The robot over there. Oh, okay. Destroy it. He's dead. Was that it, or is there going to be more? There's more coming. Oh, okay, hi. Okay, that was it. Just one more, per one more person there. I didn't see. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still alive? Oh. How are you still alive? Oh, I hate to make compliments, but I might have underestimated the usefulness of your ape like physique, Mr. Blaskovich. Uh, that you should. Yeah. Tell me. What is it? Das Yuchud is an ancient mystical society. 
For millennia, we have operated with utmost secrecy up until right now. What do you do? Do you pray? Do no, no, Mamalu, we don't pray. We invent things, Mamalu. The technology developed by Daasichas is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined, and highly dangerous in the wrong hands. The Nazis found our safety. They stole our secrets. They used them to win the war. Everything they have accomplished, everything was built upon our knowledge. But it wasn't our only safekeeper. We have hundreds of them hidden in the secret places of the world. Hundreds, some small and tentative like the ones the Nazis found. Others, great halls of knowledge stacked high, magnificent inventions, things that to you seem like magic. Now, I can open for you the gates to such a place. Getting there will be a challenge. What will it take? Well, the safekeeper is hidden deep below the Atlantic Ocean. We will need a U-boat capable of great depths. That's all. Stealing a goddamn Nazi U-boat? This is what you're proposing? Are you off your head, man? I know how to get a U-boat, but for my plan to work, I need this thing operational. Can you do it? I'm an Amadas Yehud engineer. I can do this in my sleep. Good. We would need some additional features on it, too. I will prepare a specification for you. Blaskovich, hmm. help him out there if you'd be so kind. I just thought that thing was just uh, for looks. Hmm? Oh. They expect it to be actually used. Oh, Mr. Blaskovich, I will need some welding equipment, please. Welding. Set. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what exactly you're right. doing in this organized. You're alive. Jobs, but it's some kind of supernatural engineering. Supernatural. We don't believe in things supernatural, Mama. We believe in God. The Das Yichud is 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 a it's a philosophy. It is a way of understanding God through knowledge. It is based on pure reason, pure rational thought, not supernatural bobkis. Huh. Oh. So everything you have created, what <clears throat> were you planning on using all that stuff for? No, you don't understand, Mama. It is, it, there was never any purpose or intent of use beyond the act of creation. We create to commune with God. Do you see that? You've lost me. It's like mathematical equations. Go on, go on, Madova. And each solved equation brings you closer to God. Mm. But never intended to be used. No, the, the act of creation itself is the intended use. Oh, Tazui, Madova, she has something cooking in that Chinese of hers. Uh, do you appreciate the, 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 the distinction? Mama, this safekeep I'm about to reveal to you is not a treasure chamber. It is a deep geological repository uh, protecting some of our most dangerous creations for the sake of the outside world. The purpose already served. Do you see that? Whatever helps the cause. That was funny, he grabbed the, the smaller one. Even though he's still really buff, I mean, it's like, you know. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just my wedding ring. It's gone. I'm always so clumsy. I lost it when we got back. It's not worth much, but that's all I have left of him. Dear Sebastian. All right. See if I can find it. I think you probably came in through here, maybe. Shh, shh, shh. 
that's him. What's up? All right. Bye bye. Yep. You're looking at me for answers, are you? I have answers, you ape. Real answers of importance. Meaningful answers. None of which you would like. Most of which would make you want to lay down on your back and surrender. Most of which would put a pit in your stomach. Most of which would break your heart. You should find your answers elsewhere. Okay then. What do you want, Blazkowicz? Looking for the welder. You seen it? No, I don't think so. No, wait a minute. No, you're right, you're right. I was meaning to sort out the railing over by the secret fountain entrance. The fucking thing fell out of my hand into the water. I'm a bit busy at the moment, but you want the welder, you go right on ahead and start swimming. The door to the secret fountain entrance is in the main room behind the table. Go over there and you should find the welder somewhere down in the water. All right. Um where did uh Okay. Jesus Christ, Tekla! Why aren't you asleep? I try not to sleep. No telling if I'll ever wake up. Let me ask you something. He will not understand. Where do you go when you lose consciousness? Why even bother? What? <laughs> surprise, surprise. You have a brain. The brain is a biological computational device running an electrochemical process. Your consciousness is an emergent property of that process. Blank face like that of a baby. In other words, you are your electrochemical process. Fundamentally, you have the experience of a continuous existence. You are you at this point in time, the same you as you were in the past. And you have a sensation of riding along this continuum of being you into the future. Do you follow me? Doesn't look like it. Continuing. On occasion, the brain may be subjected to trauma. Temporarily discontinuing the electrochemical process, such as the boxer being knocked out. As this occurs, the brain is no longer running its electrochemical consciousness generating process. Hence, consciousness is lost. You lose consciousness. Pay attention now. At this point in time, your consciousness, all that is you, your continuum of being you, has ceased to exist in the physical world. Now, moments later, the electrochemical process may start up again, allowing consciousness to emerge out of the information stored in the brain. But I wonder, where are you in the meantime? It's too stupid. Must we not assume that at the point when consciousness is lost, the person dies? If a new consciousness appears or not in the same brain is entirely inconsequential to the dead consciousness. The new consciousness is simply a new person. Because it emerges from the same brain, it has access to all the memories and cognitive structures as a dead consciousness, so it thinks it is the same person, but in actuality, it is just an imposter, inheriting the body and brain from the previous, now dead inhabitant. Yes, like talking to a child. Uh. What about the soul? Ah, oh, soul. I knew he was stupid. There's no such thing as a soul. We are machines of biology, nothing more, nothing less. Idiot! The soul is simply a pointless concept dreamt up by priests and fairy tale men. You're an anomaly, you. 
An outlier, useless. A laughing anus is what you are. <laughs> All right. What to make of you, I do not know. Are you here to help me? You seem beyond help. What are you working on? Gathering data. Nazi activity. Behavioral patterns. Hours. Theirs. Doing the math. Developing predictions. Where are they allocating resources? Where will they strike next? And after that, what are the larger trends triggering their actions? Figure out what choices they will make before they make them. You talk as if the future is inevitable, as if all our choices have already been made. <laughs> You think there is such a thing as free will? <laughs> you know so little of the world. You want to be the captain of your fate, do you? This fight, you will lose. You cannot go to war against physics. My actions are my own. I know that much. All phenomena in the physical world follow the simple rule of cause and effect. Your brain is no exception to the rule. Know the causes, you can predict the effects. The same is true for everything. Uh, so what's with the arsenal? Preparing for the end. I know where my road leads, and I intend to take as many Nazis with me as I can muster. You have any experience with firearms? Will you teach me? Okay. Got a health upgrade from that. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Uh, didn't expect uh, that to happen. Just like, hey, I can sleep. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> I thought I said potato. Um. Hey, what's up? Sorry, pal. Don't mean to, you know, derail your train of thought, but uh, I need to get through that door. Uh, please. Oh, okay. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? They would think that when Jay seen what I had, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already, and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changer. No matter who you are, what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind, make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I would drink with you in celebration for near that time comes. You're on. Oh, like guns. There's like, there's like guns. Didn't notice that. Like, see something they don't like, they shoot them. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I was going down here. Oh, look at this. Okay. That's right. This was here. Way before I had this thing, so. Eh. Alright. Oh, okay. Turned around, went the wrong way. This way.
Hmm? Oh. Zap. Um. Does it jump across there? I guess. Huh. Well. That did nothing for me. Um. Ah. Oh. Maybe you have to sweat no. Nope. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Um Those clearly look like wooden planks, but they're making metal noises. Interesting. Oh! Okay. That would explain it. Switch. Fire mode. Yeah, I guess I was kind of under. It's kind of on the right track. I just didn't notice I had to shoot down on a ladder. Oh, wait. Keep pushing the wrong button. What am I pushing the triangle button for? That is the wrong button. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Climb up the ladder. Okay. Okay. What? Oh, no. C 
gotta deal with these guys. I haven't fought one of these guys since the beginning. Oh. Oh, no. I gotta fight two of them at once. Alright. Jeez. I said it wasn't really as bad as last time because I guess I had better weapon. Oh, okay. It's a, this laser thing, I guess it's more powerful, so yeah. Okay. Oh. Just off the record in here. That's weird. Well, about time for this one, so next time we will continue to tra traverse through here and get back to the base. And uh, give the welder to uh, to set Roth. So, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this, and subscribe so you don't miss out any videos. Until next time, see ya.